All right, so um, my cable on my driver's side door on my 2011 Sienna just snapped. So I've already made one video uh, sort of after the fact of my uh, passenger side door uh, fix. I'm going to see if I can make one uh, as I'm doing this one, which uh, just snapped. So imagine lots of other folks are having the same uh, issue uh, since this was a 2011 van I bought in 2010. So it seems like this is about the, the limit of uh, about eight years how long these cables are going to last. So don't want to pay the dealership $2,000. Uh, I'd already bought the wrong part for the door the first time I did this. So uh, I had this one already uh, to go. And then I got uh, all the tools uh, right here that I need, I think, in order to get this done. Uh, obviously the pry bar, plastic pry bar set, uh, an impact driver uh, with an extension rod uh, and a ratchet set. So uh, I'll sort of piecemeal this video together and see if it, uh, uh, works out. First place to start is if you can uh, take out the uh, the seat so you get a little more uh, working room and then um, right here on the side of the door I've turned the power off and I've already uh, cut the cable uh, with some wire cutters just to get it out of the way earlier so my wife could use the the van um, but then uh, I think where I'm gonna start is right here on the side of the door is this little um, hex screw or a star drive screw uh, that I'm gonna take out with the uh, um, with just a star driver on my uh, on my impact driver. So that comes out and I've got a nice uh, container here that I'm just gonna keep my my parts in. Uh, so now I'm gonna close the door and uh, and see if I can um, start prying this uh, this plastic off my uh, my pry tool and just prying off um, the door trying to get get around these little these little white um, plastic retaining clips here uh, one of the really important things you have to remember to do uh, that I just forgot is to make sure that you uh, lock the door um, so slide this this lock over uh, otherwise it slides out over this and it actually prevents that from from coming out so uh, I've got this uh, just started uh, with the door open and now I'm gonna see if I can uh, finish it off with the door closed got my hand underneath here and just gave a good give a good pull and uh, a lot of this is starting to to come off um, all in one all in one piece now the spot you got to watch out for is down here um, the only the only thing that's keeping this plastic panel um, connected is this uh, connector down here for the uh, the power um, the power window so you need to uh, get that um, out in order to uh, remove the whole panel I've got the whole panel off uh, completely just set it here uh, inside the the van and now I can see the uh, the pulley the pulley system which is right right here the broken one, so the, the cable is in there. Uh, but as you can see, it's stuck behind that um, uh, plastic piece of molding there. So one of the things you need to do uh, before you disconnect uh, the power to the window is uh, make sure you put the window down. And the reason you want to put the window down is so that you can access uh, this little spot right here, which is a, a hiding hole for the... Um, uh, basically uh, keeps this piece of molding uh, on. So let me pry that off and then uh, show you what that's all about. Um, that little piece off, which was was this, I used just a thinner um, plastic pry pry tool uh, to get it to get it off of there. Um, and then uh, so let's see, I'll put that in my parts bin there. And now this piece uh, took me forever on the last time to figure out. It actually just uh, reach from inside and pull up that um, pull up that uh, essentially the window uh, molding and then um, this whole thing I think uh, should uh, come off by itself you might have to uh, work it uh, work it back and forth just a little just a little bit the, uh, the piece of molding uh, off uh, of the window there, uh, which was good. And then now I'm going to remove the 
um, the bracket from behind this little uh, window here. So the back window, I've got that open. Uh, there's a piece of plastic here uh, that I think just pries off. Um, so I'm going to pry that off and then uh, see about getting the, uh, the bracket out of that. The plastic cover off, which I, and I think I may have broken it a little bit. I think that's honestly one of the hardest parts. I think it's just getting this first one off and then sliding it forward around around this little uh, square bracket here. Um, for whatever reason, that was just really difficult for me. Um, last time I remember I took this, this is the bracket you're trying to get to. Um, you can see it's where the, the cable comes in. Uh, I, I uh, cut the cable earlier, uh, so that's why it's not extended uh, along here. This is the track the cable uh, runs along along the side. So this is what the, the door pulls against as it opens. So you can remove this um, remove this nut here, which I've done with the impact driver uh, and a, a ratchet, uh, you know, hex wrench and, um, and taking that and taking that out, uh, the whole bracket. But I realized uh, if I, if you can just get your fingers in here and pinch on this little, uh, this little plastic piece here, then this whole, this whole assembly um, will actually uh, slide right out. So uh, I just had it there. There we go. So once you once you slide that out, you know that's the uh, that's the entire thing um, right there. Uh, and so once that's out, then you'll run the new one uh, into that spot and clip it right into that right into that bracket there. So I'm going to see if I can just leave that there uh, throughout this this replacement. Now I'm focused on getting out the. Um, a couple of the the bolts for the rest of the the broken part so um, there's three bolts right here one two three uh, that take out this metal bracket that hold uh, the part of the uh, the part where the cable makes a, a right angle turn uh, so I'm going to take those out and then uh, here on this part of the door uh, the the arm that connects the door uh, to the minivan body there's two bolts underneath that actually go through the part into this bracket uh, that hold it in place there uh, those are probably the, the most challenging of these five bolts to get out before I can remove uh, most of the part there so that'll be some combination of a of a ratchet um, with a uh, what is it it's a 10 millimeter uh, 10 millimeter uh, ratchet and then uh, I may use my impact driver and extension arm to try to to try to get up in there and, uh, the entire cable assembly uh, came out this is the uh, the old one here on the the left it's got um, there were just three more uh, Phillips head screws uh, screw things they look like this um, they were down at the um, at the bottom uh, in these three holes uh, holding it onto the door and then it just pulls uh, straight out now the uh, uh, it's all come apart there and now the new one uh, just gets fed back on exactly the same way uh, that the other one was so uh, just make sure you take off this white bracket that's holding this pulley wheel in there uh, take that off just before you place it uh, onto the motor in the door uh, all right so we'll see how this uh, goes back together before you can put the new one back in is this uh, the, the other uh, end of the bracket, so the other end of the wire. Uh, so the short wire goes in here uh, to this spot. Uh, and so this, uh, you can take the whole bracket out if you want, but you can also just pinch the sides and then uh, shove the whole little um, holder back out. And so then you put that, put that away. And so um, it's actually pretty nice that it's, it's color coded. Um, so you can sort of see where uh, where each thing goes. Um, so the uh, the silver uh, cable that goes in the close bracket by the door, and then the black cable uh, that goes in the one far away um, at the uh, at the other end. The new uh, cable into place. Uh, it's all uh, secured uh, down there near the motor. Um, got that back into place. Got these uh, bolts back in top and bottom you feed it through the door um, self-explanatory I think in terms of how it uh, just goes back together the same way the other one was uh, one thing I, I did realize uh, that I had to do was uh, take this bracket uh, here by the door off completely 
Uh, what that allowed you to do was to, number one, get this little plastic piece from the old one off uh, as well um, more easily. So you could put the new plastic piece uh, that guides the cable around this corner into the, into the anchor point here. Uh, but then also it allows you to open the door wider so that then you can get slack enough in this cable uh, to pull to pull this thing, the cable underneath, and then all the way back to here, and then put this anchor part point into the bracket uh, fully uh, like that. So uh, much easier to remove that bracket down there uh, than have to uh, remove this bracket um, up here. So uh, that was some steps saved. So uh, just about done here. We'll see if it's uh, gonna work. All right, so uh, got the, uh, the bracket back in, uh, closed the door, made sure that it ran manually uh, just fine. Uh, got the keys in the ignition, power on, and we'll see if, uh, see if it all works. Okay, and it's doing what it's supposed to do. So uh, probably, uh, let's see what time is it, uh, nine o'clock, probably started around 7.30, so overall about an hour and a half uh, maybe worth of work, um, maybe an hour total if, if you work fast and you're not taking a video. Uh, so now I just have to put the trim back on, reconnect it all, and uh, I'm good to go. So $2,000 saved. Uh, hope you liked the video. If you do, please uh, like or subscribe, and uh, good luck on fixing your door.